morning to an all political of them. Pleasant morning. Pleasant morning. Your grace, a special and wonderful morning. I bring that candidate before you. All was for approved, what and so. And worthy to walk in the vocation where you are about that you offer to travel. So I bring them and I present them to you. In my name, but in Jesus' name. Morning. 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 Everyone that gathered this morning for this purpose. And the reason that we are here. Witness. Are they worthy, Bishop? They are worthy, sir. Uh, search, investigated, and approved worthy to walk in the office which you are about to install them in. You have proven them. Yes, sir. Great. Respect. Respect. The sir. PLC. Yes, sir. And you must take correction. Yes, sir. By the Holy Spirit of God. Yeah, Lord.
Anything against them at this time? No impediment. Why do you take this out to the enemy? One. Otherwise, hold your peace. Hold your peace. Oh. Look, come, come. Let's talk in. Let's put things in order. Loving Savior, come to me. For I have no strength, no power of my own. Loving Savior, stand by me. 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 Loving Savior, stand by me. Please, so just, just indulge me a bit. Please stand. Please stand, everyone. Please stand. I don't think you can understand how to stand still. Must be respect. Come on. Please stand. And join me as we sing the national anthem of our great Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Watch from the love of
This is Sunday morning.
that you will throw all your crap, your cares, and your studies this way. And that you will continually pray to God the Father by the meditation of your Lord, uh, meditation of our, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, for the heavenly assistance of His Holy Spirit uh, to the end uh, you may sanctify both yourself and those uh, over whom you are given charge. Fashioning them uh, after the rules and doctrine of Christ, uh, so that uh, you may be a wholesome and godly example for the people to follow, and that by daily reading of the scriptures, uh, you may wax riper and strong in the ministry of the word. And now, that this present congregation, here assemble, may also understand your mind and your will in these things, and that they may promise, and that your promise may move you to your duties, you shall answer plainly, again, you shall answer plainly to those things which we, in the name of God and of this church, shall demand of you. Your response will be, I do so believe. Do you believe in one God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Scriptures? The Holy Spirit, sorry. And do you confess your, your do you confess anew Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord, and that He is the only way to salvation? I, I do, do so believe. believe. And, um, I do I so believe. believe. Again, your responsibility and do so believe. Do you believe that uh, you are inwardly moved uh, by the Holy Spirit uh, to surrender your life to this officer uh, administration to serve God for the preaching of his gospel, for the edifying of his people, and for the promoting of his glorious kingdom? I do so believe. believe. Your response will be I do so promise that the Lord be in my helper. I do so promise the Lord be in my helper. Do you promise to execute your charge with all fidelity to preach and teach the word of God from the Holy Scriptures, to lead the congregation in worship and to administer the gospel sacrament, to tend to the flock of Christ and to do the works of an evangelist, I do so I do believe my God in my help. Again, I do so believe. I do so believe my God in my help. All right, the response will be, I do so promise, and I have no determinant, I have no determinant by God. I mean, I call it to you when I read that point. Are you persuaded that he, that the Holy Scriptures contain sufficient all doctrines necessary for eternal salvation through the faith in Jesus Christ? And are you determined out of, out of said scriptures to instruct the people submitted to your charge as required of the necessity for the eternal salvation and that all such instructions be concluded and proved by the scripture, I do so promise, I do so promise, and have so determined, and so determined by God's grace. By God's grace. When you be ready, when be ready with all faithful diligence. I repeat that again. Will you be ready by all faithful diligence to drive away all? erroneous and strange doctrine contrary to, the, to God's word and to use both public and private admonition to exalt exaltation as well as the sickness as to the whole as need shall require and occasion shall give. I will. I will. The Lord be my helper. Lord be my helper. Will you submit yourself uh, sons and daughters in the gospel to go through the Baptist Church organization 
God and authority to have rule over you. I will. Amen. The Lord be my helper. Amen. Then, Almighty God who has given you this will to do all these things, grant also unto you strength and power to perform the same that you may accomplish this work which you have begun in you to Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Hello, brethren, in the Lord. Today is a great day. It's a day we were expecting because the day was fixed. And therefore, today we know what we are about to do today. So we got to give God praise. We got to give God praise. We got to give God the glory. We got to lift God's name high up. So in everything we do, we're going to put God first. We want to put God first in our lives. Let God do the job, and not we do the job. And so, to the candidates that are about to be ordained in the field of the ministry, this is not about you, it's about God. You have just taken a vow and I guess perhaps you listen to every word that was said. Not only today, but it must be continued in your ministry. I raised the hymn a while ago, because in my ordination, they had raised the hymn to me. And I was wondering what kind of child I was talking about. I was wondering what kind of God to go back. You know, and somehow I didn't understand what I was talking about at that time. But then again, when the challenge comes, because you're going to be challenged. But you must remember on that challenge day, whatever time it may come, you must remember you have a charge to keep. Yes, sir. I know it stops. Because we can talk about a nice thing now, but on the other side, there's a, a dark world outside there. And that world is going to challenge you. So therefore, my advice to you, the way I was able to overcome the dark world, I had to pray. And if I didn't know how to pray, I was forced to pray. Because the trials as the minister, the tribulation of the minister, all eyes is upon you. It is about God. So therefore, I say to you, as a minister, you already crossed the bridge. Believing in God. That is essential. If you got to make it outside there, believe in God. That's number one. Number two, you got to trust in the Lord. Must trust. You got to have faith, which is so important in this age, because this faith is not a, a physical faith; it's a spiritual faith. And that's challenge among us, the spiritual part. And then, and on, on then, we must trust in God at all times. These are very, 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 very much important. But let me tell you something here now. You gotta lead. You gotta take responsibility. And responsibility you must prepare for. Leadership is not begun. Leadership is not how much you can shout. That's not leadership. One of the important things about leadership, you must be of impartiality. You must, imp you must be able to understand human beings. We all have different attitudes, different behavior. We have ways that is already fixed. And it's hard to fix, to correct that way. But if God is with you, you have to correct. But you must be obedient. Because you don't want me to be obedient when you are not. I have a problem with that. Because if you're obedient, you will know exactly what I'm facing in life, the problem I'm facing in life. Because God will speak to you. And we handle things in a more genuine way. 
Let your conversation be ne 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 ye. As ministers, as you ordain into the world of fellowship, we can meet you for the night. But you are the coming moment. This ministry is a very, very, very important ministry, especially spiritual Baptist faith. I know and I know the challenges, but I tell you and I say to you, you could be grounded in this faith because it has some wolves outside there. In other words, they're not really wolf for them, they are demons. You must know. For example, you think the angel that died in those children in school? If it was an angel, they would have loved each other. But God didn't, God didn't make no booty. And therefore, it must be some kind of force. Perhaps the children or the mother or the parents don't get on their knees every morning and pray for that child before that child leave home. That is your responsibility now. You're taking something up that is very important, very challenging, but put God first. You look so beautiful this morning. I see some shouting as the ambitious savings are the shouting yet. I guess we need to put on the, put on the, the, the lily white robe. Uh, we're going to start to shout this morning. So I'm happy to be here this day to witness your religions. I'm going to be looking at you, but I know you're looking also to at me. Because you might see me at some function or some revival or some kind of service. And based on how I speak, you would know if I'm a true believer in God. Because the Bible says, it never goes in the man that the fire is the man. What comes out? And my final advice to you, children have not been ordained for us. So therefore, don't judge. One of the things that a minister must learn as much as he can, we're going to build other people outside there, but sometimes when you build people, expect them to be some kind of, you know, at a level. They have those who didn't build them. And that's the problem there. But we must learn to forgive. Forgiveness is important. If we could forgive, and even our own self too, because sometimes we make mistakes. And sometimes we have to admit to ourselves that yes, I made a little mistake because I was a little hasty. Quick to hear. Are you hearing me what I'm saying? I munch on those things what I'm telling you right now. I chew on those things. Quick to hear. Fast to speak. Fast to speak. Fast to speak. Fast to speak. I was just testing you. Slow to speak. Be a good listener. Your opinion must be an opinion when the face the members of them must be a democratic one. Now I say this. No. But if you want your fellow brethren and those you have to lead, you have to be able to understand. Let me hear everybody's opinion. And when you have everybody's opinion, now you can come and take everybody's opinion together and you'll make good, good, good judgment. Nobody will be hurt. Nobody will be angry. And nobody will say, I'm left out. That is leadership. That is leadership. And that is what required in the faith. 
and the first speaker on your this your day. I want to thank God today. That I'm given the opportunity this day that I can come to witness what God has blessed you with. Finally, everybody have a talent. Everybody have a gift. And if you can understand that I may have the gift of love, but you must have the gift of patience. And because you are patient, I must impose my love upon you. So you have run out your patience. And understand the truth. What inside of me, I cannot take it more. I just speak up. Be patient. Be patient. And all will be well. Be
to the Lord Bishop, to all Bishop, to ministers of the clergy, to all grand officers, my family in Christ, I must say a special good afternoon. As I was called upon to bring you a lesson for the moment, as we wait for the 10 days, I'll be bringing down the 27th Psalm of the Psalm of David. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, Except the Lord build the house, they lay down in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wait it in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to set up late, to eat the bread of sorrow. For so he giveth his beloved sheep. Lord children are the heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb this is his reward. As Aaron are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that had quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Yeah, and they down the down 27 Psalm, come to this side. So I'm here to rejoice. 
and give the Lord what He deserves. You know, to our debate on the foundation, we will say nothing on Sunday. You know, to keep our spirit happy in the Lord. Children of Jericho, your light so shine. Hallelujah.
the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of a riot or unruly. For a bishop must be blameless as the child of God, not self willing, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy loose.
Freshmen's there, so nobody go nowhere, and we will proceed. What they have for this? Go up till the next week class starting in July. We'll have King Way Bradford will come and give a little thing in the classes, and we have um, get on to Bishop Nichols to give all this some some classes too. You know, by November we have an explanation that line up. And we want to put everybody together through this COVID. The last time we passed through that year. So
So we're trying to be much safer. And we hope that everybody will go back well and nobody will jam up too much like the last time. And in November time, we'll have the next one. Shall I come into my birthday time? You know? So we'll have these fellas come into the lecture in Jesus. I won't put it for the shy room time. You know, the shy room time is somewhere across there. So, all right, so we will take the lead. Are we about to leave in an orderly fashion, Mr. Mitchell? Come, please. Minister, then the minister for order after the answer. Please stand, church. Stand, church. <laughs> Just so I see, just so I see.